probably the best coffee note that I've ever smelled in a fragrance. What is going on guys? It's Josh here. Today we're doing a review on Happy Land Fragrances a Cure Cafe. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Now I gotta be honest with you guys, the review of this one's gonna be kind of simple because it reminds me of two things right off the bat. Depending on if you like those two things, you will love this fragrance. If you don't like these two things, you probably won't like this fragrance. However, this was one of my favorites overall from Happy Land Fragrances, Happy Land Studio. EJ Wells. Thank you so much, EJ Wells, for providing these one ounce bottles for me to sample. He's got some really, really, really high quality juice. So as I was telling him, these one ounces are perfect because if I actually blow through a one ounce, I really like the fragrance and I will buy another one for sure. Jumping into Cure Cafe, what does it smell like? Very simple. To me, immediately it smelled like Tuscan leather and some really good roasted coffee with some vanilla in there. But I've gone over and looked at the notes. I do see the leather and I do see the jasmine. Those were both in Tom Ford's ombre leather. So I could see why people are saying that this is coffee and ombre leather instead of coffee and Tuscan leather. Although right off the bat, it just reminded me 100% of Tuscan leather versus ombre leather, although they do share that same leather note. So kind of one in the same. The coffee note in this fragrance, guys, is probably the best coffee note that I've ever smelled in a fragrance. Granted, I have not been after too many niche style coffee fragrances, so I'm sure there's other fragrances that, that can produce this coffee note as well as Happy Land Fragrances does, but this is by far the most authentic coffee note. And if you're somebody who kind of doesn't really like coffee, it's really gonna make or break for it because I really like coffee and this coffee is very strong and very authentic. Really wanted a good coffee fragrance for a long time now. I didn't really know if they could make a good one. I'm sure in the niche world, people can do some great things, but I hadn't smelled a good coffee fragrance and now they came out with Cure Cafe. Just absolutely love this stuff, guys. I sprayed a lot of fragrances that smell sweet, that smell good, that smell like this. This is the only fragrance where I smell it and I think I think I actually have a delicious drink next to me and I'm like, oh, I want a sip. Oh, let me go for another sip. I've literally got that with this fragrance and I haven't got it with anything else and it's because of that delicious coffee note. Now they don't list any vanilla in there, but to me, this fragrance dances between kind of like that coffee um, it'll be a sharp coffee and then other times I get almost like a good like vanilla coffee, like a vanilla iced coffee, like real delicious smelling. I think that might be the jasmine. Sometimes I can confuse jasmine with vanilla for me personally, especially when there's some sweetness added. But how does the longevity and projection? I would say above average, not nuclear because like something like Tuscan leather, the original has so such nuclear longevity and projection. This has very good longevity and projection, but it's not as good as Tuscan leather. And it has to dance between these two notes, like the super coffee and the super Tuscan leather. It sacrificed a little bit of insane longevity and projection to do that. When you think of coffee and Tuscan leather, I like them both separately. I could not have pictured them blended. And this is pretty much the best blended version of those that you could try. And like I said, if you like coffee notes and you like Tuscan leather slash ombre leather, this is a match made in heaven. I definitely recommend getting a sample because I really, really like this juice, guys. I think I've worn it four days now, which for me is crazy. Something like even like Vintage Fierce or like Sauvage or like any of these great ones, I don't really wear that much, you know, maybe once or max twice a week. But really, honestly, it's rare. It's rare for me to wear a fragrance more than once a week. I usually I'll have to like it, and I really do like this fragrance, Cure Cafe. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think of Happy Land fragrances down below. This one's kind of near the top of my favorite Happy Land fragrances. I kind of want to do like a like a list of all my Happy Land fragrances and kind of rate them best to worst in my opinion, but this one's definitely near the top. You can see there's only a man on there and not the unisex symbol, so this is a manly style fragrance. Do I recommend it? If you like those two notes, coffee, and Tuscan leather, yes. If you don't like coffee and you don't like leather, there's no chance you're gonna like this one. But if you like it, then you're gonna love this one. My two cents, very simple. Cure Cafe, definitely check them out. Happy Line Fragrances, usually pretty unique designs, super high quality juice. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. You guys are the best. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. Thank you guys so, so much. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. <laughs>